How do you join two datasets using the link? So here we have two datasets, one for person and one for city. And as you can see here, the person has a city ID. So how do we get the city ID and match it in city ID there and get the city name? So this is quite easy to do in SQL, but how would you do this in C Sharp using link? We do this by using the join method. So let's explore the syntax and understand what it's trying to do. So you put your first data set here, which is people. So what you want to do is join the people. So you use the join method against the cities data set. So here we've got a list which contains cities and we've got a list of people which contains the following people. So that's your first data set, which is the list of people. And then you've got cities here. Then you have to use the Lambda operator and specify which foreign key you want to use so the outer join that you want the first foreign key join is person against the city id so you want to join it on that field then the next one is your primary key so that's city data set and we want to use the city id and again you need to use the lambda operator here and then you put the two tables person and city but those cannot give you an object because it's a mix of properties from city like city id city name and person has id name and city id so you cannot just use them what you need to do is create a new anonymous object out of the two objects here and that new anonymous object will actually contain a person name which would be person.name and city name, which would be city.name because they're coming from the original objects that we created. Now, these are just classes. So as you can see, this is a city class and it's an ID and city name. And then you've got the person class here, which is ID name and city ID. So then once you have this anonymous object, you can just treat it like any other object and loop through the items and print the person name and city name. So in SQL, the equivalent would be joining two tables here to give you a new cable essentially with different columns or fields and the same thing is happening so just to recap this is your first table this is your second table and you want to join on the foreign key of city id in the person table against the primary key of the city table and if i run this program so what you can see is this is an inner join so we get we have alice lives in new york bob lives in los angeles and notice there's no match for charlie as you can see because his city id3 does not exist within the second data set which is actually on two and four so three is missing so hence in the output you do not see charlie so this is an equivalent of an inner join in sql